Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Eddie and Ted Figure It All Out. This, of course, is the podcast where two highly decorated professional comedians armed only with a handful of half-read articles endeavor to figure it all out. If you would, please take a moment to like, share, subscribe, share the show link, uh, preferably the Rockfin show link. It is in the comments. And if you haven't already, please create a Rockfin account. That is the platform that best supports us as content creators that best supports the show. So if you go to rockfin.com slash Ted Alexandro and create an account, that is the best place to support Eddie and Ted, figure it all out. All right, a lot to cover today as the holidays approach, but that doesn't slow the news, doesn't slow the, the world. So let's hop right into it. With the man, the myth, the legend, he is the bitter Buddha. He is none other than Eddie Pepitone. Eddie, baby. Good, e- good evening and afternoon, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Um Ted, let's talk about the elephant in the room immediately. Where are you? Thanks, Ed. Uh, I, knew that sl- I knew that wouldn't slip past you. I am at the W Hotel in Seattle. Oh. Yes. Well, I don't know why I think the W Hotel is fancy. It, it, it used to be considered like the hip uh, hotel to be in. How is it there? Do you like it? I don't know. I just snuck. I'm actually staying next door, but I snuck into this room. Are you serious? Uh, <laughs> no, no. Just... <laughs> oh, I thought you were in the lobby. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I'm actually I'm here for a week because, um, as you know, I'm out on the road with Jim Gaffigan for close to two yeah. weeks. And we yeah. had two days off in between Monday and Tuesday. By the so, way, I love that. Yeah, yeah. It is great to be off. I had the option of flying back across the country for 36 no. hours or staying out here. So that's, that's what I opted to do. And, you know, my wife, you know, let she, your family fend for themselves, Ted, you know, I, I haven't been in contact. I don't know how they're doing. <laughs> uh, no, my wife, Look, encouraged baby, me. when I go on the road, baby, when I go on the road, I don't want any contact. No, <laughs> I'm not, you know, like it's better if, like you said, we fend for ourselves, um, and I think it's better for the kids to learn independence. <laughs> oh my God! Um, I, I, I obviously I you know I, I feel guilty. You know, it's that mixed yeah. feeling of like I'm living the the comedian on the road life. You know, I ordered sushi last night, and uh, and my wife is schlepping around. You know, grocery <laughs> shopping with with two babies. So you know, yeah. But yeah, you know, no, I don't. I know, but you can't go back. I, I've also had that call of going back across the country for a day, and it's it'll just knock you out. It's ridiculous. It's, it won't be good for anybody, you know? No, no. Yeah, so it was the better choice, you know? So it's a little weird, though, because Jim had to fly back. He's doing some movie thing in New York, so he had to fly back. Uh, so I'm just out here by myself. You know, it's, it's weird. But, so he'll come back for tonight's show. Yeah. He's coming back tonight. Yeah, he gets he arrives sometime this afternoon. So, so what's this is why I tell people don't be successful because you know why? Success there the real downside to success is that you get super busy and it's a drag. <laughs> that's such a, a great point. And not enough people tell young comedians that it's like you want to get to the level of you're right in the sweet spot where you're busy, you, and your calendar's full. But you don't have those extra like you never have to fly back for a reshoot. I've had to do that, and I've had to do that. I had an HBO thing in the middle of a tour. I had to fly back, and then fly back and join the tour. And I got to tell you, I was so stressed out about that crap. Oh, so maybe I'm in the sweet spot then, because What's like, that? like I don't have, I don't ever have to do that kind of stuff. <laughs> it's really just well, like uh, that was you know, rare for me. I'll tell you that. Yeah. Yeah. That, but that mm-hmm. is, you know, I find that to be true. Like when I have a show that night, that's all I need to know. That's all I need to focus on. 
Don't put any other things in between, even if it's like Damn. a obligation, you know? I'm like, Damn. that's gonna be too much mental uh, stress and energy. I, I, I don't have it to spare. I'm the same way, and I've had to deal with, like, shit that needs to be done all of a sudden day of show like an audition that my agent wants me to do or something and uh and this isn't to brag you know i'm not saying this to hurt the people out there who are in a sweet spot we know uh, your, your heart ed we know your heart oh <laughs> uh, but yeah it's like it it it, it I guess we're creatures of habit and we don't want our little routines to be broken. Like my thing is day of show. Yeah. Chill out, do the show. That's all I want to do. I don't know about you, but I also don't like to do things like I know people in, in different cities or whatever, and they want to hang out. I don't want to do that either. No, no. Yeah. You want to say hello, like after the show. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll fit in like, you know, family or, or if it's an obligation that has to be met. But right. I mean, that's, you know, I mean, this is behind the curtain. Like uh, a lot yeah. of people realize that, you know, like before a show, you're just kind of in that mental space. You're preparing after a show. You're like kind of coming down and just you, there's that exhalation. So it's like, you know, I mean, I guess I'm being petty, but yeah, you just, I guess I never want to talk to anyone is really what it amounts to. <laughs> Exactly. That's what I've realized, too, is that um, I'd rather have no interaction with the human race, except when they're laughing with me. That's a good point. And, <laughs> and I think adulating me. I think that's enough, quite frankly. That's, that's you know, enough. That's, right. That's funny. So right. just question, right. what, ha what has um, your holiday season been like as it's kind of getting, what are we, like 10 days away now? A any? Uh... I can't believe, you know, the holidays, dude, they always come up. Um, they always come up so quick on me. Like, what is today? Today is the 15th. It's 10 days. Fuck it. Well, really, Christmas Eve was always a big thing in my Italian heritage there. Uh, yeah. Did you ever do the thing of eating fish on Christmas Eve? We did it on my dad. My dad's side of the family is Italian. So, yeah, we would always do it there. And now my wife. My dad, too. Yeah. She's so what? My wife, it's a big tradition. You know, she's Italian also. On oh, she is father's side so yeah so they are big on the seven fish and all that stuff so we've yeah. been doing that for the last few years oh cool cool yeah i'm vegan now so we get like uh the faux cod <laughs> that sounds horrible doesn't it like <laughs> right like, hey this is a tradition kids he's a vegan the head of the vegan family we are doing faux flounder <laughs> faux flounder this year yes <laughs> Yes, with uh, with with panko breadcrumbs, they're completely vegan. There is no parmesan. <laughs> That's right, no parmesan. <laughs> and the youngest kid is like, "I hate you, Dad." <laughs> that would be funny, right? Like the seven the seven faux fish. <laughs> <laughs> seven faux fish. Oh, also, what we ate was a uh, shrimp. A lot like that was some kind of tradition. Uh, shrimp on uh, New Year. I mean, uh, Christmas Eve. Yeah. Well, that might have just been on sale. You don't. You never know. That what? That might have just been on sale. <laughs> That's true. My father was a penny pincher. You know. <laughs> no, we do that too. I think that that might be. I don't know what the seven are. I can't remember. I know it's like flounder. Uh, I know that because of ecological destruction, we're down to about five fish now. It's five, yeah, yeah. That we're counting down. That's part of the. Pretty tradition. soon, it's going to be the one, the <laughs> one fish. Can you guess which fish is still around? <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Uh, it's funny that we're laughing about that shit, right? Oh. You want to jump into the first topic and uh, kick off the. Uh, YouTube people, let's do it, buddy. Yeah, let's do that. I always love kicking off the the YouTube people, not the people themselves, mind you, but the platform. Right. So if you are watching, hello, uh, we got a comment from Juice, uh, from the <laughs> Satanic Chosen Tribe. Oh, Juice, good. We, welcome, we welcome all tribes, uh, and thank you for dropping in and saying hello. Please join us over uh, at the Rockfin link. It is right above your comment. 
Uh, so if anyone's looking for the Rockfin link, uh, it is in the YouTube comments right now in the live stream. So join us over there. We are going to remove YouTube and we will see everyone over in Rockfin. And please do comment and uh, let us know what you think, what's going on with you, and we will answer any questions. Uh, questions are always good because then we can pretend to know some answers. All right, we will see you over at Rockfin.